Probably already seen this viral video, a demolition in Brickell gone wrong after a slab of concrete came crashing down just as drivers passed by. Well, today an emergency meeting was held as investigators try to get down to the bottom of this. NBC6 anchor Chris Hush is in Brickell with the details and the status of the demolition now. We just learned that the city is now requiring the contractor here to only perform the work during the evening hours and with a full street closure. It's a requirement that wasn't in place over the weekend when this incident happened. This is what the site looks like here at 7th Street and Brickell Avenue. Workers here spending the day fixing the scaffolding that was crushed by that concrete slab, also shoring up the building here. That demolition work remains halted, though, until the company can prove it is addressing a number of issues raised by the city and OSHA. It's unacceptable. This is the type of situation that shouldn't happen and that cannot happen again. City of Miami District 2 Commissioner Sabina Covo reacting to the eye opening demolition blunder a massive concrete slab. falling off this building near Brickell Avenue and 7th Street as witnesses film crashing onto the street below just as a vehicle passes by. The building is being torn down to make way for the 68 story one Brickell City Center skyscraper. The situation could have been worse, but it was bad. It was really bad. And what we need to do now is make sure first that the contractor had everything in place. The city of Miami's building department holding an emergency meeting with the demolition company Alpha Wrecking, owned by Camino Real Group out of Pompano Beach. OSHA also opening up an investigation. If there was human error, why were they doing this during the daytime? Why they didn't have the right mitigation for the traffic pattern? Tonight, the city of Miami tells NBC6 in order to resume demolition, the contractor is required to provide a detailed report into what transpired, what safety measures were overlooked that contributed to the incident, as well as what policies, procedures, site conditions, and activities will be amended to prevent reoccurrence. It goes on to say that future demolition work be conducted only at night with full lane closures, police presence to ensure enforcement, and the full-time presence of the threshold inspector. We are already exploring policy that will make our code um, compliance and our building department stronger so this doesn't happen again. We did reach out to Alpha Wrecking today. An employee over the phone told me that the company has no comment on this incident and then hung up that phone. As for the street here, 7th Street, it will remain closed until that scaffolding is repaired. In Brickell, I'm Chris Hush, NBC6 News.